Hey guys, this is a bit of a tutorial on how I built my incubator. I just got one of these foam cooler boxes from my work, which I didn't have to pay for. Uh, but I think you can buy them at Bunnings or hardware stores. And I just cut a hole here, just a square hole using a utility knife. You just have to score it a few times to get through. Um, and then using some kind of tape, just tape in um, a glass pane. Some people do do um, double glass but I didn't really see too much point in doing double glass so I just did one single glass um, I've used a light so any any kind of light like this I got this for three dollars from the hardware store um, I just take take the um, this off I've kept the, the um, metal in so just rip, rip this off the um, outer plastic or whatever it is and then um, I made up with wood um, a nice frame to hold it s steady so it wouldn't move and burn through the incubator um, just for safety's sake um, and your th your thermostat I, I tried a few I tried one of these as a hot water thermostat but it's it wasn't very um, wasn't very good for the for it. It was too um, too much of a temperature variance. I bought one of these from Hong Kong for about ten fifty, and these work really well. But um, not for an incubator. They'd be really good for a reptile enclosure or whatnot. Um, but it has a two degree variance, so that wasn't very good. But I've got this little unit here, this was $12.95 delivered from Hong Kong or China um, and this thing's perfect it, it holds very steady temperature um, with about a 0.3 of a degree Celsius um, variance so that that little unit's perfect you can find them on eBay so um, yeah I'd definitely recommend getting one of them and then you just have to wire that into the light, so you need to cut away some of this um, the, yeah, the insulation and expose one of the wires, so you just need to snip through one wire, not, not both of them and then you put in one side well, you just wire it into the back of that unit and it'll turn the temperature on and off for you, so that's how the thermostat works and you put the probe right next to the um, light globe as close as possible which will turn, flick it on on and off um, fairly quickly which is what you want for a, a good steady temperature over here where your eggs will be and I've put a piece of wood um, just a round circle of wood to stop the heat of the light going straight onto the um, eggs and I've got two fans but you probably just get away with one decent sized little computer fan that'll um, blow against the probe to cool it down and also circulate the temper uh, the heat around the incubator for your um, for your 12 volt computer fan you need one of these um, adapters that's a 12 volt one the one with the chunky sort of plug and then it's just got two wires and you just snip that off and wire up your fan straight to that. Um, with your, th if you buy one of those thermostats from from Hong Kong, you'll need to wire it up yourself. They don't give you a plug, so you just need one of these with the two pin. And just snip that, snip it off. Well, at a better length than that, and um, wire wire it in to the back of that thermostat. Um, so. Yeah, and then you just need a tray over here for your eggs and a tray or a container for water. Um, that's pretty much it. Also a temperature gauge. You need to put the temperature gauge um, close to your eggs. So this one's got a, an actual cord for a probe and you just put the probe in the middle of your eggs. Um, this was 350 from Hong Kong or China.
Um, it's it's got your humidity and it oh, there's your humidity and the temperature. Um, and that's where you need to be putting your probe there for your for your temperature, and then the other probe is for your um, thermometer, and that goes right next to the globe. I'll, I'll take the lid off this just to show you what it looks like inside. So I've got these two tiny little um, 12 volt fans which are blowing directly onto the um, thermostat to cool it down. So I want, I want the temperature to get really hot really quickly and then cool down as quick as I can to keep the steady temperature over at the eggs. Um, and yeah, I've just built this wooden frame just to keep everything nice and secure and steady. Um, I put a bit of wire here so that if they hatch, they, they can't get to the light. Um, and then just sort of um, use some tape to tape down the wires just so everything's nice and secure. And with this power adapter here, I've taken two of the screws out of the power out of the adapter and then screwed through the screwed through the side there, I don't know if you can see that, and put some washers on the screws and screwed it in so it's all nice and secure. So it's just not going to